guys so today I am making some homemade baby food for Bo he's been having some issues with some food allergies so I've decided to start making it myself with organic fruits and vegetables and that way I can just give him specific things and know that he is not having all the other additives and we're not mixing things together so that we can be sure on exactly what is breaking him out because he's breaking out after he eats things that he's eaten in the past so we're having some weird issues going on but if you want to see how to make some delicious pureed goodness then keep watching okay so first we're going to start off with squash i picked up some summer squash from aldi give these a little rips. Now I'm going to go ahead and peel these. Just cutting these pieces up now. I'm putting them in the steam basket. to add some water. And I go to the three mark. Now I'm going to turn it to the steamer side where this light indicator comes on and it will tell me when it's done when the light goes off. I'm going to go ahead and start preparing some other things while that is steaming. Alright, so while that's steaming I'm going to go ahead and prepare my green beans. Um, and if you'll notice, I don't add or mix a lot of foods together. Bo has some really weird food allergies, so we have to give him, like, nothing mixed and just certain things because things that he's eaten before he can have an allergy or an allergic reaction to, so we have to be very careful. So I'm going to go ahead and fix the green beans, and I'm just going to wash them and go ahead and cut the ends off. KK, KK wants some.
So those are ready to be steamed and pureed. And then I also have this butternut squash that I'm going to rinse off and it will be ready to be steamed and pureed. So this is very easy to do, especially if you're like me and can't mix in a whole lot. Um, sometimes I will put in like his cereal just to thicken it up a little bit and give him a little bit of extra grains with this meal. But that's about as far as it goes and what it takes for the vegetables. Um, we, do a do, we, mm, we do do a few more, but these are the ones that I picked up today to make. Alright, so this is done. get it off. All right, it's nice and steamed. I'm going to remove that. Dump just a little bit of the water out, but keep some in because it's got all that good nutrients from the squash. And I'm going to add the squash back into the container out of the steamer basket. Silly girl. Mommy. Now it's pureed and hot. And we make ours just a little bit runny. Um, because Bo has some issues with swallowing, so we're gonna make it as easy for him as possible. So a thinner consistency, you can do less water or more water, depending on your baby and their preferences. So I'm going to set this into a bowl. Stickles. Ask Daddy if he'll get you some stickles. That way I can go ahead and be steaming my next batch while I'm divvying this up into freezer bags. I'm going to go ahead and add the water back in. got my steamer basket and I'm going to add my green beans. I'm going to have to do two batches it looks like. I'm going to do two batches so I can get it all in there and I can add a couple more. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on and set it to steam. Now, while that batch is going, um, there's baby food containers you can get on Amazon. You can use ice cube trays and freeze them. There'll be about an ounce of food in each of the little ice cube tray slots. And um, you can give them one of those at a time. Or you can do like me. I just scoop some into a freezer bag and then I can mash it flat in the freezer, store it flat, and it gets, you know, allows me to stack more in. And I always write the date, what's in there, and the date of expiration. Um, if you put this into the refrigerator, it's good for about three days. If you put it into the freezer, it's about it's good for about three months, just depending on what it is. So here is his yummy dinner, and I'm gonna probably go ahead and feed him uh, some of this tonight after it cools off, just for his evening meal. All right, so it's easier to go ahead and mark your bags with what you made and everything before you add in your goodies. I add in about a half a cup of whichever vegetable or fruit I'm making. And that's just about the size that Bo is at currently. You can tailor it to your baby and their needs. Gosh, that looks so delicious. That would be one serving. I'm gonna squeeze all the air out. And then I will lay it flat. Make sure all the air's out. 
I will lay it flat in the freezer and that way I can just stack them up and when I'm ready I can defrost them and they will be ready to eat. So I'm going to keep working on that while the green beans are still steaming. Alright, so those three did about two and a half. So for the other two ounces of this bag, I'm going to add two ounces of oatmeal. Now oatmeal will hold up in the freezer for only one month. So you need yeah. to make sure, like I'm going to have to change my date on this. Um, but it is the Gerber brand oatmeal single grain cereal here. And you can pick that up pretty much anywhere. And I'm just going to... Hensley. I totally regret buying that recorder. Now, you can wait and mix this in later. It's just easier for me to go ahead and mix it in now. Have it ready. All I gotta do is thaw it and go. Alright, so I'm gonna change that date and mix it all up. Mmm. Don't you wanna taste it? Mmm. Looks like what it's gonna look like coming out. Alright. Change this. But Bo's moving the camera. Alright, so the first batch is done. I'm going to go ahead and dump out a little bit of water. green beans again so I'm going to add water with another little cup. She can be loud as hell. <laughs> so I've just rinsed out everything from my green beans. I've got them in this bowl ready to go into the bags. And I'm going to add my water in and start on the butternut squash, which will be my final vegetable for tonight. So I have already rinsed them. I'm going to put some in the steamer basket. Did you take them from her? Yeah. 
All right, let that start now while I finish up the green beans. Okay, girl, what's the me on? While I was finishing up cooking, go find daddy. So while I was finishing up cooking um, the butternut squash, I was playing HQ because it goes live at nine o'clock. And if you have never played it before, it's a free app, you download it. And every day at three and nine o'clock Eastern, they um, play a trivia game. You have to answer 12 questions. If you get all 12 questions correct, you win money. I haven't yet to win money, but I have got to question number 10. That's the highest I've got. They start out really easy and get progressively harder. So if you want to try, I will give you my link down below. And that way, if I refer you, I get an extra life so that if I miss a question, I don't have to get kicked out. I can have an extra chance. So I appreciate you on that, but it's just a fun game. I've never won any money. Sometimes there's thousands of winners. Sometimes there's two winners. Um, every day they give away $2,500 for each game and then on Sundays it's usually like 10000 or more um, for Sunday night. So check it out. It's a fun way to try to win some money. Anyways, alright so I've got my first little bit of the butternut squash puree. I'm going to just dump that in the box, in the bowl rather. of that. Add some water. Where did my water cup go? Hmm. Back here. And last bit to go in the steamer. So while that's finishing up, I'm going to relax and start working on my nighttime cleaning and then I'll be ready for bed. What you need? You looking for that good good? I got squash, green beans, butternut squash, squash with oatmeal, 350. Which one you want? Alright guys, thanks for cooking some baby veggies with me. I'm going to throw these in the freezer flat and then they will be ready for my bobo. Remember, if you don't have anything nice to say, then shut your damn mouth and eat some pureed yellow squash.